These are the type of blow dryers that irritate me, especially when the comb attachment keeps falling off. But I found a solution. And that is this bad boy. If you ever knew how long I've been waiting for this, not only does it detangle my hair, no comb attachments drop off. I can detangle my hair with ease and hair grease, nothing slipping out my hand, no buttons are turning off. This is what I'm using from now on. Let me just show you. This is not sponsored by the way, I bought this with my own coins. As you can see, this is a massive brush and the air comes through it and it's by L. Now when I saw it in the box, I thought it might be a bit too chunky for me to hold, but actually it gives it a good grip and it's not that heavy. It's not too bulky and there's no handles that you can feel like it's just gonna slip out your hand and it's all bulky and you know what I mean. Let's move on to the settings. As you can see, it has three settings. It's got off, well that's not a setting is it? Then you've got <laughs> one, two and three. Number one is the cool high speed setting. Then you've got number two, which is the hot low speed and number three, hot high speed. All you have to do is twist this nozzle here That's it. No buttons turning on and off whilst you're trying to blow dry your hair. And what I like is it's not just a paddle brush. The brush is on both sides, so you know, you don't have to keep on going back in the same position. You can literally go like so and brush it through, giving you less risk of heat damage. But I mean, if you've applied your hair grease, you'll be fine. And less time of drying your hair. I had my hair in twists last night, so you know, we've got a bit of crinkle going on. You know, look at the greys just glistening. That is beautiful. Right, so what I'm gonna do is quickly section my hair as I usually would with a traditional blow dryer. However, I'm going to detangle, and I know my hair is dry already, but I'm just going to detangle it with this brush. So detangle it and comb it through. I'm going to use a cool setting because I did use a higher heat setting last night. I'm gonna work my way up from the ends to my roots. So now I'm gonna turn it on to the number one, which is the high, the high cool setting. And I'm just gonna work my way up. I'm not gonna apply any more hair grease. that was the cool setting it doesn't look like much has been done my hair's been detangled but it would have gone straighter if I put it on the heat setting so I think I might do that just to show you it is advertised as a magic hot air styler and it claims to volumize the hair now that we can see it's done but I'm not looking for volume you know us naturals don't really need any more volume do we so no I'm gonna put it on a low speed hot heat okay Right, so there you go. If I really wanted to, I could straighten it out more, but I don't want to. As you can see, it's getting straighter there. Let me just quickly show you at my roots. This is what I love about this. As I said, you saw that I could go back and forth like so, and my hair was just getting hit with the heat at all angles. Exactly. But what I like to do is when I get closer to my roots, is hold my hair taut with it and just go down. Okay, you don't need to hold this on your hair for too long at all, so you can avoid heat damage, guys, even if you don't have hair grease in your hair. But what I want to show you as well, this is this is the best part. If you can see close on these bristles, these bristles are like the paddle brush. Now, we've got these bristles, these little fluffy ones here, and those get a nice good grip of my hair. I'm just gonna continue blowing out the rest of my hair and I will show you the end result. Guys, that was so simple. That literally took me, I know my hair's already dry, so I'm gonna try it with wet hair, but that literally took me to just do those sections. And I've done it in four sections. I could do bigger sections. It took me 20 minutes, 20 minutes. I've done it in four sections, as I said. So the pros about this, it's got a nice grip. Secondly, there's no attachments that can fall off. I love it. And it is very solid. I like that it's just like, you know, I don't know if you got my description there, but it's, yeah. Okay. 
This is my ultimate favourite though. This is my favourite part. The settings. I love how your hand is up here, you're not touching down there, and even if you do hold it like that, it's not gonna make a difference. No buttons are gonna turn off. Right. My hair is nice and full and thick as you can see. Yeah, this was the best purchase. By the way, guys, I bought it in BNM for £15. Yes, £15. All I could find at the time was the pedal brush one. I saw this and I liked that it's got both sides. And the fact that it's got both sides cuts down the time of the blow drying because as you saw, I was going around in my hair. I wasn't just having to do so many strokes. So less breakage less heat on my hair and quicker drying time or styling time so if you're not a fan of the dryers in particular per se and you just want to see how to style your hair whilst it's wet using hair grease click here now